Alright, hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I got very, very special unboxing and I'm really, really excited for this product right here. This product was actually a Kickstarter project which was funded back in June, if I'm not mistaken, last year and they're supposed to ship it out in September 2019. But however, they needed to do some design changes and fix some of the connection issues. So it was delayed to 2020 and because of coronavirus, it was even delayed even further. But I'm so surprised to actually receive this in the mail. So let me take this out of the box for you guys. Alright guys, so this is the Air Loop Snap. They were actually given a choice on the names as well because they didn't really know what to name this product. But anyway, we voted and the name is Snap right here. So what makes this different from all the other wireless earbuds out there is because this is actually a modular earbud which means you can actually change from a neckband to TWS and you even have a charging case you have a couple of uh, accessories right here because this is the most premium package of course I chose the most premium one so I can show you all the accessories which actually come together in this package by the way I got this for about mm, 99 US dollars uh, and I paid another 6 US dollars for shipping because I'm in Malaysia so it's slightly more expensive without further ado let's get right into the unboxing Alright guys, so we're back and I can't wait to unbox this but however, we need to do the usual which is showing you the specs and also the box. So here is the website for the Air Loop. So now they have the official website. It's no longer a Kickstarter project. So you can buy it at a retail price right here. So I will leave the link in the description below as well. But anyway, let's go on with the features. So you can see Air Loop, the world's first 3-in-1 true wireless earphones. So this has a 3-in-1 magnetic design which means you can actually swap it out. So if you don't want to use the spot band on the day, you can actually just remove it and use it as uh, two individual units. So this has a couple of uh, features which I will be showing you later. So you can see right here, instant magnetic connection and stable earbuds connection. This has Bluetooth 5.02 by the way, even though it is from last year, but they have actually updated the, the hardware as well. So you can see right here everything so you can check this website out if you do want to purchase it all right so let's put that to the side let's focus on the package so on the top you can see alloc branding you can see the product as well so this is with the spot band if i'm not mistaken so on the bottom you get snap three in one headphones very nice uh, i love this package it's very premium packaging so good job alloc okay on the right side you can see here Alu branding, top nothing. On the left side, same thing, Alu branding. Okay, on the back, that's where we get the features of the earbud. So, Alu, snap 3-in-1 headphones, convert quickly and easily to suit your style. True wireless, spot band and neck band. Alright, so using true wireless uh, mode, I should say. So, you can use it for about 10 hours. Plus, minus depends on the volume, of course. So this comes with the charging case as usual, same like the Galaxy Buds and the Apple AirPods, you know, those true wireless earphones that comes with the charging case. And then you have the spot band option, which is pretty cool because it adds more than six hours of battery life, means it also has an inbuilt battery, which is uh, pretty small, I'm sure. And then the neck band is where you get the most in terms of uh, convenience as well as battery life. So you get more than 12 hours of battery life. So pretty good thing. So I think I'll be most likely using either the true wireless or the spot band. I don't think I will be using the neck band, but well, we'll see. All right, so let's go through the features. You can see three in one magnetic design, 10 hour play time. Then you can see this is charging case as well. Superior sound with graphene drivers. Okay, you, this is also IPX7 waterproof which means you can use it for your workouts. Auto in-ear detection. This is actually a feature they added because we actually achieved a goal or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. It was a long time ago, so, you know, I've just been uh, glancing through the updates very quickly. Last but not least, Spot Fit. So this is a good all-round pair of earbuds. So I would definitely recommend this, but however, don't take my word for it. Let me try out the sound and I'll give you my first impressions. All right, so right here, the website so very nice let's uh, cut open the packaging okay let me remove the top portion of 
the box. Okay, so the top portion is off. Wow, that's a pretty nice presentation though. I'm digging it, definitely. Alright, so on the top itself, we get the instruction manual. So they show you how to set it up and how to use the accessories. Alright, let's look at the charging case first. Wow, this is actually very, very nice. I do love the feel on it. It's aluminium. Very solid. It's, it's kind of big, however. Um, let me grab my AirPods and I'll be right back to show you a size comparison. Alright guys, so here are my Apple AirPods and if you compare that with the Air Loop, wow. It's really a huge case, probably like almost four times the size of the AirPods. I love my AirPods though. So I'll be mostly using this with my S20 Ultra which we'll be pairing with later on. Alright, so let's slide this portion out and see what's inside here. So this is the charging cradle. I love the the feel of it. It's very smooth, very premium. But of course now it retails for about mm, I'm not sure around the ballpark of maybe seven to eight hundred ringgit. Right, so pulling this out, this is actually a very, very nice uh presentation. Very smooth. There's a right amount of resistance and there's also a magnetic clip at the end, right here. So you see very nice. Uh, I think this charges via USB-C. So let's take a look right here. Am I supposed to take it out like this? Alright, yes, it charges via USB-C. So it's uh, very up to date. I love that. Because uh, some of the earbuds which I'm using actually charges via micro USB. So not, not a very good thing in today's standards. So right here you can see a little branding. Before I forget, very nice shade. It's like a gunmetal color. Alright, so let's see what else comes in the package. Alright, so what do we have here? Okay, there's a small little compartment right there. Okay, never mind. We will just focus on this. So this is the neck band. So guys, you can see right here, a loop. And on the other side, what do you have? You have the same thing. Right, so the end of each cable from the spot band, the actually magnetic pins, so you can connect this to your earbuds so very easy you just need to put it nearby and then they automatically be absorbed by the magnetic field so it's a very nice and easy way of connecting and also if you do accidentally pull it you will not be damaging the cables because the magnets will just detach so it's a very nice touch i'll be definitely trying this out okay what else do we have so here let's see let me get this out of the package I believe this is the spot band, I guess. Yeah, definitely this is the spot band. So let me slowly take out the stuff. Alright, so this is the spot band. So this is a spot band. So it's also magnetic as well. And this is actually a soft uh, silicone sort of like um, housing for the earbuds. So you actually slot in your air loops. And they will go in magnetically. So the end is actually the same. Pogo pins. This should be easy and simple to connect. And here is where the battery is. So let me get a closer look. Alright, so you can see Aloop branding here. So it comes with this clip as well. So you can clip it onto the back of your shirt. So to prevent losing them. So very nice. This is your other option. Put that to the side. What else do we have? So we have, well, we have extra strap. I think this is also the neck band. So what is this? Oh yeah, because this is a Kickstarter project. So they actually provided extra straps. So that this is the neck band. And that is the spot band, I believe. So these two have actually have batteries, but this doesn't have. So I have to figure that out. Not very sure with that. And here you have some extra ear tips and uh, wings as well. So you have to swap them out if it doesn't fit your ear. Okay, let's go deeper into the box and see what comes with it. Alright, so we have a nice uh, pouch right here. So it's a nice microfiber pouch. Very nice. So this is how you carry your air loops with the neck band, I guess, with this. So you will not lose them. Okay, last but not least, we have the USB-C cable with a USB-A on the other end. 
It's a very short cable. You can use any USB-C cable. Alright, let's look at the earbuds themselves. Alright guys, so these are the earbuds themselves. Very nice and lightweight construction. I do love the feel of it. Alright, so let's throw them into this charging case and see what happens. Not sure whether this case has a charge. But anyway, let's figure it out. So we have to follow the magnetic pins. Well, that's a very nice fit. Alright, so you can see right here that it's charging. There's two red lights here and also the case is uh, full, full charge. It's very nice. Let's slide them in. That's actually not too bad. Uh, with the earbuds inside, the case doesn't feel too heavy because it's already heavy. It's, in fact, the case is heavier than the earbuds themselves. Alright, let me pull them out. You can see they are still charging. Uh, Alright, let me figure out how to get them paired and I'll be right back. Alright, so when I took them out of the case, they actually automatically turned on. So let's see whether my S20 Ultra finds them. Alright, so right here, you have a loop snap. Let me connect them. Alright, so having requests. Alright, so it just said connected, so pair, yes. Alright, so now it's paired. Let me pull out the test track and see how these earbuds sound. Alright guys, so honestly, after trying them out for a couple of minutes, I actually noticed they are very comparable with the sound of the higher end brands as good as the Sony's but of course this doesn't have noise cancellation but it has a passive noise isolation because these are in-ear earbuds they in fact sound really really good um, the low frequency is actually very prominent but one thing I don't like about these earbuds is that they don't have a really good sound separation it's more focused to the center so if you do like like spacious audio uh, you might want to consider the AirPods Pro or something like that but however, this sound really good. This has APTX codec as well, so which means they give you really good sound quality with a minimal loss or deterioration in quality as well. So I definitely can recommend these earbuds. I'm not sure whether they are in stock right now, but I'll leave the link in the description for their website. And if you have any thoughts on these earbuds, you can hit me up in the comments. All right. So this has been a very quick unboxing and test of the Airloops Snap. So that's all for this video and see you guys in the next one.